Hey everyone, I am TH Pion and welcome to Divide by Sheep. What is Divide by Sheep you ask? I like to call it a Save Sheeps by Killing Them math puzzle game and it's gonna release on the 2nd of July on Steam and iOS and this is what it looks like. So as I said it's about saving sheeps, um, you do so by getting them to those rafts. You have three rafts per level and every raft uh, holds a specific number of sheep. So we have to get four sheep on the first raft, we do that by let them jump there from island to island. There we go, first raft complete, next raft, on, raft only holds one sheep, easy as that, and then the last one needs five sheep, and we get them there. As you can see, they always jump from one island to another, bo bo bo, there we go, level complete, easy right? Well that was level four, it's getting a little bit more complicated from now on. So um, if there's not enough space on an island, then the sheep will fall down. As I said, it's uh, save sheep by killing them uh, puzzle game. So we have to kill sheep in order to save other sheep. But that's the way to the way you go when you're trying to save sheep. Um, we have to save the sheep, by the way. Uh, as you could see there, I needed three for the raft. Uh, and so I took the five, got them on the three islands. So two fall off and completed them. Um, now we do a similar thing. There we go, three. And then we take the one from here and get four in there. And for the last we need only two, so we go over there, plumps, they all drown, and we go over there. So we have to, sh to save the sheep because uh, death death is lonely, so he wants friends and he's looking for friends and he wants wants the sheep, I think. If I, if I understood the story correctly, <laughs> that's about, about what I understood. So death is trying to get friends and he's looking for the sheep and the sheep don't want to be friends with, the, with death, so they're trying to escape on the rafts. Rafts. For some reason, I don't know why they are on islands or why those islands have jumpy, jumpy platform thingies. I don't know. So now we have a fence, so we cannot go over there. We need six, six, six sheep on the first raft. Oh yeah. By the way, if you have too many sheep, um, then it will drown. <laughs> so uh, that's not a thing you want to do. Just to demonstrate that. Um, you cannot jump over the fence, so um, I guess we pull them back there. There we go. That should be six. There we go. Okay, three next. Um, how do we get three without screwing it up? I guess we do uh, something like this. I played this already, but it's if, uh, it was two days ago or so, so I kind of forgot. Um, there we go. So the first few levels are still fairly easy, but uh, I got stuck a few levels later. <laughs> so, <clears throat> well, about ten levels later, I think. I will not go through all of them, I think, uh, but just show you a few for the mechanics. So. Um, yeah, you can see how this works. Uh, yeah, let's let's actually jump to another level. Uh, for example, I, I think that's the first one with the wolves. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there are wolves as well, and wolves like to eat sheep. And um, so basically, you can jump the wolves as well. And if you do so, they will eat sheep, and then they will just stay there. They're fed and happy, and they're not moving anymore. They're blocking two spaces though. Um, Instead, you could jump the sheep to the wolves like this, and the same thing will happen without the wolves moving. So that makes sense. Uh, there will be, there are levels where you have to uh, save wolves as well for some reason. I guess Death wants to be friends with the wolves as well, and they don't want to be friends with Death either. So poor Death will still be lonely. Uh, what do we need? Two sheep. Probably, probably start like this. I imagine go like this because now we have still four slots here, so we can. Uh, careful that we don't screw this up. Mm, 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 mm. We probably do this. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Four, four, uh, four. There we go. And that's how the wolves work. So is that a level? I want to show a level where you have to save wolves. No, no, not this one. Uh, let's just. Let's. Does this work? No, it doesn't work. Uh, I want to go to the next level. <laughs> but you have to at least complete one raft com uh, correctly to do so. Um, I was too lazy to do that. I'm looking for a level. I, I should have looked up those levels beforehand, shouldn't I? So, there we go. That's what I wanted. So, we have to save some wolves as well. So, that's a pirate raft, I guess, for the wolves. And um, five wolves, okay, and three wolves afterwards. So, I guess we do something like uh, jump those there. Um, oh fuck, now it's four. That was not what, I, not exactly what I was looking for, but we can probably still do it. No, there we go, that looks good, that looks good. So we get four, uh, five I mean, three, and now we have to manage to get 
for sheep, which should be possible by getting them over there. And there we go. So that's how this works. And um, then there will be laser walls. Let me let me let me demonstrate laser walls. Uh, that should be level uh, 13 or 14. I think 13. It might be 14. Okay, it's 14. Never mind. <laughs> so laser walls. No, it's 15. What? Did I only solve one level of laser walls? I guess so. Well, laser walls. So laser walls are fancy. <laughs> they are pretty stupid. So you see this little tutorial. Basically, if a sheep thrums, it let's try that again. If a sheep th jump, sheep jump. Wow, that's um, if a sheep jumps through a laser wall, should not be that hard to say that. If a sheep jumps through a laser wall, it gets uh, divided into two half sheep, I guess. And um, a wolf will eat one half of a sheep and will be happy. But uh, if you get both halves of the sheep to the raft, it will be fixed again and count as one sheep. So, um, basically. Basically, you do this, and there we go, like this. And then we need four, well, we can just get them there, I guess. Whoop! It's a little bloody. There we go. I think next level is the one I'm stuck at right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do this. Uh, I have no freaking idea, but I did not try for too many. I Too long. I, I probably, I, I might could figure it out if I take a few more minutes but the thing is um so the game is a nice little puzzle game obviously uh and if you like those puzzles i think you will be happy with it like those kinds of puzzles it's those um not really uh, how do you describe it i guess you have to solve the whole puzzle in your head before you solve it like there are no small steps or at least in most cases there aren't there aren't small steps or logical cues you can follow sometimes small stuff like uh what was it, level 13 i think um, was it 13? It might, might be 14. Uh, it's 14. Okay, never mind. Um, sometimes you have stuff like... What the heck happened there? I might have... Interesting! Okay, I'm not sure what happened, but I guess I softlocked the game. Somehow. There's a shark! Uh, okay. Well, well then. That can happen, apparently. Um... Pressing buttons doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess I kill it. Uh, yeah. There we go. Um, let's restart the game. Fine. Oh, it's on the wrong screen. What are you doing? There we go. There we go. Okay, it's back. <laughs> uh, level 14 is what I wanted to show. Yeah, for example, in this level, um, you can make small assumptions before you solve the whole level because you can for certain say that your first move has to be this because everything else would be pointless. Uh, you would just kill the sheep and then you will not have enough sheep left to solve the level. So your first move has to be this. But afterwards, you have to complete the solve the, uh, the whole puzzle before you complete it. So um, it's those those kind of puzzle games. I don't have a good name for it, but I think you know what I mean. So you, there are a bunch of puzzles like this where you don't have small steps, small logical steps you can follow. And instead, you have to get the one big solution in your head and solve it. And that's fine for the first few levels. Uh, for me, some people like those stuff. Some people love those puzzles. So I don't condemn you, it's just um, why I don't like them that much. It's because uh, for the first few levels I'm I'm okay with that, I can do that. It's not a problem for the first few levels. But when it gets too complicated and, it, and the solutions require too many steps, then uh, then I'm, I just don't have fun solving them anymore. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's just my personal preference though. Uh, overall I find the idea uh, pretty unique and the art style is kind of cute I guess and killing sheep is always fun so <laughs> that's a <the> thing um, <laughs> there are a lot of levels by the way like there's tons of content um, so you have 30 levels in the first world and there are four worlds right now and then there's a fifth world coming up soon which is in development I guess so um, I imagine they have even more mechanics later on but I cannot be bothered to solve the first world to be honest uh, so, um, yeah, so much for that. Uh, the option menu is in bare minimum. Uh, you have 
sound sliders. Well, at least you have separate sound sliders, so that's good. Music and sound effects. Then you have parental control. Um, this will turn off the blood. It will not. It will not be. I. But still, it's still pretty. Oh, that's not the button I want to press. It's still pretty, pretty evil. Like if you kill a sheep with parent control on, not she uh, kill, but uh, well, jump it through the laser. It's still put in halves. It's just not as bloody anymore. And if we get them over there, the blood is completely gone. But it's still pretty brutal, if you ask me, so I'm not sure <laughs> if that's enough parental control. But anyway, um, then there is a credit screen. So the controls are... Yeah, you, you feel that it's iOS-y on in the main menu, like, or um, mobile, I guess. Uh, in the levels, it's okay. I mean, the mechanic makes sense. You just click and drag in the direction you want to jump to sheeps, which is which is fine, like this controls fairly okay. The UI obviously tells you that this is probably a mobile game by having really big buttons and stuff, and um, but it has keyboard control, like if I'm pressing escape, the option menu can, or oh, not option menu, but the menu thing here comes down, well, including some of the options, I guess. Um, I think there's a hotkey, is there a hotkey for restarting? No, I, I, I'm not sure, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, this, the main menu screen is the thing that's the most like mobile because you can slide here and uh, yeah. I don't know why you cannot press the buttons down here. That would be, if that if you could just press the buttons down here to jump through the next world or the next menu screen, um, I would be completely okay with it. But so, like in this case, like, is it, like as it is here, uh, it feels a little mobile. And it is, like it's a mobile release. So <laughs> there we go. Um, I would actually probably suggest to get this game on your mobile device if you want to get it. I mean, there's no real, no real point in getting this on your computer, I guess. So I mean, it's bigger, <laughs> but you don't need a big screen. Anyway, I've started rambling, kind of. So uh, let's wrap this video up. Yeah, it's divided by sheep. It's gonna release on uh, July the second. Oh, there is a reason to get it on your Steam on your computer. Obviously, if you have an Android phone, like. I do, <laughs> because uh, it's only available on iOS as far as I know, um, available on Steam and iOS on the 2nd of July. It's called Divide by Sheep, it's a fun little cute puzzle game, if you like those sort of puzzles, you could check it out, and um, well, thanks for watching, I'm TH Pine. have fun and see you next time.